the sorts of folks who win these sorts of awards have really uh, achieved a heck of an accomplishment. There are 10 million small businesses in the world, and when you get a handful of folks being recognized like they are here today, these are truly uh, the companies and the personalities uh, that, are, that are the top of the top uh, for this sort of thing. Um, I think that uh, uh, the district government, the uh, agencies involved here, the, uh, uh, the uh, Washington Economic Partnership are doing a fantastic job in creating an environment to continue to fuel this city's growth uh, and establish the city as uh, one of the leading world capitals. Uh, I spend way too much time traveling to various cities in the United States and Europe, uh, and uh, I spend an awful lot of time on economic issues. Uh, and we are so lucky to be here in the District of Columbia, uh, a city with a, a vital economic engine, and it's companies like these that are uh, one half of all the economic activity and 100% of the recovery uh, from this uh, particular market we're in. The uh, uh, CoStar Group actually started in a little teeny office space in uh, Thomas Circle, uh, four employees. Uh, we were an incredibly marginal business, uh, struggling to survive. Um, uh, like small companies do. Uh, I think DigiDocs would get a kick out of the fact that uh, our huge funding constraint was we had to find $25,000 of capital. We weren't really paying ourselves. We had to find $25,000 of capital to make our business viable uh, to buy a 10 megabyte hard drive. Um, we gave away 25% of CoStar Group to get a 10 megabyte hard drive, which I used to put this presentation on here today. <laughs> So, um, the, uh, uh, I won't bore you with what CoStar Group does, but basically we had a decent idea. Uh, all, the, all the commercial real estate firms were collecting information. They were all replicating the same task, incredibly difficult. It made a lot more sense for uh, uh, one company to act as a clearinghouse, economies of scale, much more efficient. Um, it, uh, uh, the difference between, obviously, the, the, the heart of a small business is great ideas to execution, huge challenge, uh, and, and it was. Uh, but we were lucky enough to be in Washington, D.C., which is one wonderful, I, I couldn't agree with you anymore, it, it's a wonderful city to be starting a business. As I uh, work on expanding our company throughout Europe, it is uh, clear that we have such an advantage on, on so many other cities, uh, uh, both in the United States and in Europe. Uh, we've got um, uh, an economic engine with the federal government. We have a very vibrant private sector. Uh, we have a, a, a very robust GDP, and we tend to survive the downturns a little bit better than the rest. So we started in Washington, and from there we took it around the rest of the country. Uh, and today we're in 300 and some cities with an idea that we started right here in the District of Columbia and proved out here. Um, we are actually now taking that in the United Kingdom and beginning to move that into France. Uh, we've acquired about uh, 20 or so companies across the United States and Europe and are, are now uh, moving more towards a global platform. We've been lucky enough to find some good customers uh, and continue to grow. And our four, uh, four good hardworking staff, uh, who I still keep in touch with today, are now, I'm not sure, something like 1,500 or so. Uh, and basically, we have people in five countries and 35 states. We developed some great technology. Um, we've already, at this point, uh, added, what I'm told by HR, more than 70 district jobs. Um, uh, some are uh, uh, starting this fall. We've already spent millions of dollars with local businesses here in the city, and we will spend uh, probably another additional uh, 10 million. I understand our small disadvantaged business component is probably 40. 2% is what we're doing on, on about 10 million of build out. Um, and our, uh, we believe that we will comfortably create hundreds of jobs for district residents over the next, over the years to come. And we're also confident we'll spend hundreds of, uh, at least 100 million uh, in the local economy as we build our business. And we believe that this is a great place for us to uh, uh, pursue our goal of reaching a billion dollars of revenue in a global business. We also want and I congratulate uh, this city on being the, the leader in the United States, on being the greenest city, uh, bar none. Um, uh, 
the, the legislation that the uh, city has passed with requiring lead development disclosure of uh, 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 the green ratings of buildings has resulted in this city having more green buildings than any other city in the United States. So not only is it the headquarters of the EPA Energy Star Program and U.S. Green Building Council, it's also a really green city. Um, and we're glad that we can go into a platinum building and we're doing things like uh, subsidizing 100% of our staff's public transportation um, and, and trying to do our part to uh, uh, make all that happen. So uh, we're optimistic. We're, we're supposed to be uh, economists, so I'm, I got to say something about economics. So uh, uh, we are optimistic about the city and where we are in the cycle right now. A lot of the key indicators are beginning to move up. There's a little bit of wobble there with the Greek thing, but uh, uh, consumer confidence is not, what it, uh, not as bad as it was. Retail sales have shown some hope. And the key leading indicators across the board indicate that there is signs of recovery in the economy. Uh, GDP is back positive. Uh, that can't be any more important and uh, is uh, continuing to move on that track. Profits and corporate profits now are really, really, really robust like they have not been in years and years and years. Key things like temporary hiring is through the roof uh, and uh, hours worked is through the roof. This is a big indicator for job growth. And when you look at every one of the recessions post-World War II, as fast as you lose the jobs, you tend to have symmetrical recovery. No one ever thinks that when you're at the bottom of one of these cycles, but that's the way it is. So, you know, when you look at the each one of those recessions, the jobs lost, it mirrors the jobs coming out. And there's no question about it that this particular one, the red one, is the worst we've ever seen in our lifetime, lifetimes, but it is showing the characteristics of every other recession of recovery. I'm not worried about the Greek uh, problem because uh, Greece has a smaller economy than Philadelphia. And, uh, and I believe we have some uh, uh, good seasons coming along here. Uh, Got to throw in a commercial real estate thing because that's what I do. Um, the vacancy rates peaked in the United States. So we're at the, uh, I believe we're at the worst point uh, for vacancy rates here. Um, and uh, it's going to become down from here. And if you're any re way related to construction trades, I think that's going to recover in the next uh, uh, 18 months or so. And I actually think as uh, tenants in the district, if you are, I think it's a great time to go longer term in your commitments because I think the rents are going to go through the roof in about two to three years. So uh, I would uh, try to avoid that. And we're actually seeing uh, values come up 11 percent in the most recent quarter. So while there are a lot of things to be afraid of in the economy, I think there are a lot of things to be positive about in the economy. And then um, ultimately, uh, you look at um, uh, what a great opportunity this is. I, I never could have started this business in Ireland. I never could have started this build business in Glasgow. I never could have started this business in Memphis or in uh, just about any other city. You've got a city right here uh, with a GDP of $370 billion. Uh, it's got a larger economic engine than the country of Ireland here. Um, so it is a, a great place to do business. And uh, uh, I, I want to tell you I have uh, amazing respect for the award winners today. Um, uh, I think you're in, this is as competitive as the Olympics and potentially more competitive. There are more people trying to do what small businesses are doing than there are trying to win a, a medal in the Olympics. And I know that there are probably some people here uh, who were nominated and did not win, I want to, I want to, uh, you won't get as much uh, 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 adoration and uh, applause to the people that won, but I think it's like, like there's nothing shameful about winning a silver medal at the Olympics. Uh, my grandfather won a silver medal in the Olympics uh, a long time ago, believe it or not, for art. You can look that one up. Um, <laughs> but uh, I still talk about it today. And uh, uh, it's a heck of an accomplishment. Uh, so even if you didn't win but were nominated, that's a heck of an accomplishment. And then obviously uh, uh, it's your day if you're one of the winners and congratulations.